In this video, we're going to go through the basic setup for your new Legend app. The first thing we need to do is connect to the Wi-Fi. If you haven't done so, we have another video entitled Connect to Legend Wi-Fi. Once you've done that, you can open up your Legend app and get this screen here on your main screen. The first thing you're going to do is click on the icon that is a gear with a wrench in the bottom left hand side of the app and we're going to go through what you need to do here. This is where you're going to tell the system first how many runs you have on each loop. In our case we have seven. Then you're going to do your loop one high and low rate alarms. So for this one if your uh, target seating rate is a hundred and you want to know whether you're 25% over or under, you would set it to 125 over and 75 under. Now this rate will vary based on your seed rate, so you may need to change this with what product you're putting down. Next is your loop one and loop two delay. This is the amount of time that the system will take in, the, in a delay to tell you if you have a blockage or a high or low rate alarm. This unit is in seconds. Next thing you need to set is your speed. If you're using a GPS in your cab and you're going at a constant consistent speed, we recommend just to set your test speed to whatever you're running there. If you're not using that or you're manually driving your cab, you can set up a speed sensor or use the tablet GPS. To do this, Next to the speed type icon, we're going to click and you can select the type of sensor you're using. If you would like to use tablet GPS, make sure you select tablet GPS. Next is if you have a work switch installed that's external, you can en enable or disable it. And if you have your section type, you can turn on predictive section. In this case, if you're not seating or if you're turning and some of your towers are out of the ground, it'll automatically configure to not alarm and give you false readings when you're not actually blocked. This is all the same for your loop 2 on the right side. You also have your run variance. Your run variance is going to be based on what type of drill you have. So whatever your variance seating rate as a percentage uh, that comes from your manufacturer, you will set there. If you don't know the seed rate, we recommend leaving at the default of 15. Now once we've done that, we're going to switch back to the main screen and go to the section setup. This is the icon that looks like a farm with the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Once clicking there, you're going to see three rows, sensor, run, and section. Make sure that your runs are labeled the same as your sections. To do this, we're going to click on the icon that has a gear with a playlist in the middle. This will automatically set your runs up to your sensors. Once you've done that, we can assign the sensors to the, each tower that they're on. In this case, we're going to put two sensors per tower and one sensor on the last tower. So sensors 1 and 2 are going to be on section or tower 1. 3 and 4 are going to be on section or tower 2. 4 and 5 are going to be on section or tower 3. And 6 and then 7 is going to be on tower 4. We do this so it's easier to determine where your blockage or higher low rate is, is on your drill. You can do the same thing for your second loop if you have a second loop by touching the two with an arrow around it. Now that we have our tower set up, we're going to go to the main screen. Now that we're ready there, we're all set to turn on our sensors. To do this, we're going to set our sensitivity to one. The sensitivity is set next to these five vertical white bars and the number value right here. So we're going to click on that number value and we're going to change that from a 0 to a 1. Now all the sensors that we entered in are going to appear on the screen and they're going to appear in the towers. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and we have 7 total sensors. They're all shown with vertical lines. 
Now, because we're not seating, the sensors are going to be blocked, and that's why we have this warning right here. So we're going to acknowledge that. When you are seating, normally, the sensors will turn green with a bar moving uh, bottom to top to show normal flow. If you have a high or a low rate for your flow, you're going to get a uh, yellow-orange warning. And if there's no communication between your sensors, or if one sensor is out of the loop, it'll turn black. We talked about the variance earlier based on the type of drill you have. This is going to be shown in this blue line right below your towers here. Next is going to be the location settings. So we're going to click on the location setting. If you're going to use the speed based on your tablet GPS, you'll click there and just click on the blue box to enable the GPS. Next is going to be your loop history. So we're going to click on the clock with the circle arrow. This is going to show you per sensor your one minute interval updates of loop history. So again, these colors will coincide with uh, the colors of the runs on the main page. So if this showing is red, it's a block. Green is functioning normally. Black, the sensors are turned off. And you'll be able to view loop one and two by clicking on them. You can also reset this by clicking the gear with the reset arrow. We're going to go back to the main screen. Now that we've gone through all this, you're, going to, you're, you're ready to start seeding. Once you start seeding, you're going to be able to set your seed rate based on the seed rate wizard. So there's one for each loop for the wizard hats. So one is going to be for loop one and two is for loop two. Once, and you can see blocked run preventing seed rate wizard. So until you start seeding, you will not be able to enter your seed rate. And as soon as you do start seeding, you can enter that and then you're ready to go.